And before we get to Trinity and State College, which is going to be an unbelievable game here tonight, we're going to take a look back at the season here and some of the highlights of this past season here on High School Sports Live TV. We've been so blessed to bring in these games, and we're going to give you a chance right now to see some of the highlights and all the games that we had in this season leading up to this championship here tonight. We'll take a break. We're back with game number two, Trinity and State College here on High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43.2. But right now, our highlight reel. Choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. The Jet Giambavo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Giambavo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jack Giambavo Mazda. The Giambavo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre-owned inventory with a reputation for quality service after the sale. Giambavo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jack Giambavo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at giambavo.com. Hey guys, this is Charlie Fortney with High School Sports Live. I'm excited to be here with my friend Dave Kerr, external affairs with AT&T. We got a great subject we're going to talk about is, is how AT&T and what they do uh, to create safety when it comes to cell phone use. Talk about that, Dave. Sure, Charlie. It's, uh, it's great to be with you again. We've been here for a long time. We've uh, talked over the years about the dangers of texting and driving, and that's still critically important. And, uh, but our customers, uh, you know, they're responsible just like we are as a company. And it's important for us to uh, broaden that and talk about the dangers of not only texting and driving, but internet safety and, and those types of activities, just to make sure that people understand there's a lot of dangers with cell phones. We want people to buy them, don't get me wrong, but uh, let's be responsible in their use. It creates a digital footprint. Uh, so you got to be responsible in their use. So we try to encourage them. Talk more about connected learning sure. uh, from your perspective. Just, just educate our, our viewers and myself on that. Yeah, so connected learning is our commitment, at and commitment to working with uh, the students, it's including uh, our innovative educational work that we do with our schools, uh, 
across the Commonwealth, but also uh, it's the volunteerism, it's the mentoring. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that you know, students really need to be prepared for college and career readiness. So that's really our commitment to talk about that. How about digital divide? That, that's another term out there. Educate our listeners, uh, myself as well, just a little yeah. bit more from your perspective on what digital divide is all sure, about. Sure, our commitment to connected learning is even broader than that. It's working with uh, you know, getting an uh, educated workforce, those who might be displaced and such. The digital divide term is really uh, between the haves and have-nots when it comes to internet access. So we're working hard uh, through connected learning to uh, to bridge that gap and make sure that uh, our communities are uh, have the access and affordability. You know, you have a son that came to the game with you as a sixth grader, so I'm looking forward to seeing that young man and his Palmyra teammates, hopefully coached by Pete Conrad on High School Sports Live in a couple of years. We're so. looking forward to that as well, and it'll be a tough match with Lower Dauphin for sure. <laughs> so. It's great. Let's watch some uh, basketball tonight, Charlie. It's I'll a tell you what, game. State College uh, coming up against Trinity. It's going to be a tall one. Actually, a 6'11 Ukrainian in the center for Trinity coming up in a few minutes with Gary, Kirk Smallwood, and Jeff Thompson. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Charlie. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. Where were you last night? Do you know how embarrassing that was for me? <gasps> no, 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 don't deflect. <sighs> well, that wasn't passive aggressive. Listen, I just need to know that I can trust you're gonna be there when I need you. Hello? <gasps> Our money just hung up on me. Not cool. Track your spending with our personal finance tool. Just another way to have better conversations with your money from f &M Trust. So a while back, I thought to myself, I'm never going to own a home. I'm going to have to rent forever. I didn't have money for a down payment. I had no credit history, and I just got out of a divorce. But PHFA showed me that home ownership is possible. They offer me a low interest mortgage and a way to manage the closing cost. To me, this is more than just my home. It's a huge accomplishment and a new chapter in my life, thanks to PHFA. Side, but it's sizzling inside. We're ready for high school championship basketball. We enter season number two now. The regular season's behind us, and now we're ready for the Mid Penn Boys Championship here tonight as Trinity and State College get ready to lock horns right here at the Dome at Cumberland Valley. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gary Sutton. Tonight's live broadcast is made possible by our premier sponsor, the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency. Kirk Smallwood, Jeff Thompson with me here tonight, and this is going to be a good one, guys. We've been looking forward to this one all season long, and these two hooking up, Trinity out of the Capital Division, on the other side out of the Big Time Commonwealth Division is State College. Their second time in this, they won back in 2017-18, and Trinity won back in 2018-19, and both these teams coming in with 20-2 and two records tonight, and they are both sporting some quality teams. 
And when you start with Trinity, we've already seen Owen Slager a couple times this season. He is a sophomore to be watched, Jeff Thompson. Well, he's a dynamic offensive weapon for the Shamrocks. He averages 20 points per game. He's very quick, big first step, and he's got good hops. He's accurate from all the way way past three, and he'll drive with his later left and finish above the rim. But he's got some help from a big front line. Mike Bednoston at 6'10", Adelphi Cisse at 6'7", and Trey Wyant can shoot it up at 6'4". They love to play a 1-3-1 zone, and they've got big wingspans out there, as we talked about. On the other side, a name that may be more familiar to you uh, from the Penn State head coaching job with Michael Shrewsbury, but his son Braden Shrewsbury comes in this game with some gaudy credentials, and he, he's heading to play for Dad next year, but not just yet, right, Coach? He didn't pack his bags yet. Braden Shrewsbury is averaging 17 points a game. He shoots it very well from the three, and he's the guy who makes his team go. He passes the ball very well this year. He's rebounded better than last year. I think he's going to have a big night tonight. Guys, i got to tell you something. What's impressive about this state college team, they have 185 out of 510 from the three-point line this year. They've made more threes than they have free throws. They're 182 out of 232. They're 78.4% as a team, 36% of the team, which is unheard of from threes. And Trinity, on the other side, averaging 72 points a game to only 60 for State College. Something's got to give here tonight. We're getting ready for a great championship game. You're going to love it. And it's all right here on High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43.2. Right back with it all right after this. More choices. More laughter. More time to play. And less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal. To go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs. And to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. So a while back, I thought to myself, I'm never going to own a home. I'm going to have to rent forever. I didn't have money for a down payment. I had no credit history, and I just got out of a divorce. But PHFA showed me that home ownership is possible. They offer me a low interest mortgage and a way to manage the closing cost. To me, this is more than just my home. It's a huge accomplishment and a new chapter in my life, thanks to PHFA. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. The Jet Giambabbo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Giambabbo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jet Giambabbo Mazda. The Giambabbo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre-owned inventory with a reputation for quality service after the sale. Giambabbo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jet Giambabbo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at giambabbo.com. And welcome back to the Dome of Cumberland Valley. Your starting lineups tonight, first of all, for the Trinity Shamrocks, 20-2 out of the Capital Division, the champions there. 
You see Cooper Manley only averaging half a point a game, but he plays great defense. Owen Schlager at 20.6, Trey Wyatt 8.3, Adelphi Cisse 11, and also Mike Bednostin at 11 points a game. On the other side, for State College. You see Johnny Urey starting at 1.9, Ray Shrewsbury at 17 and a half a game, Lake Black at 5.4, Ryan Perks 11.9, and Isaac Dye. 13.7. Kevin McKenna will see a lot of time tonight, too, at 4.5 points a game. Your officials for tonight's game, Craig Bradley, Brent Lawson, and Bob Butts. Your coaches, Brian Sholley, fifth year, 51 and 56, 2019-2022 District 6A champion. And on the other side, Larry Kostelak, Jr., his 39th year, over 750 wins, 18 conference championships, 18 district championships, two state championships, four state runner-up in 2001 and 2003, and 14 mid-10 titles. There's some gaudy numbers there for Larry Kostelak Jr. When you say Trinity, he goes in the same sentence. Larry has had a stellar career in the mid-10. You know, he's been a colleague of mine forever, and uh, he does a very good job with his group of kids. And I like what Coach... Sholly has done with this team here for State College. Remember the team they brought in here back in 2017-18? They were a tough crowd. They were tough. So they are being introduced right now here at the Dome by Bob Schellenberg, the voice of the Mid-Pen Championship, also the voice of the PAIAA for a lot of years in basketball. Shrewsbury, Perks, and Dye, by the way, scored 64.2% of their total points at 60.7 points a game. Again, we're going to see a lot of numbers. We're going to try to offset each other tonight. We'll see what numbers seek themselves. We'll take a timeout. We'll be right back on High School Sports Live TV. Groff Tractor is your full-line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high-demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24-7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. You may recycle your electronics, appliances, and mercury thermostats at the Dolphin County Recycling Center. In addition to eight local drop-off sites for recyclable materials. Recycling matters in Dolphin County. Since 2001, Dolphin County has recycled over 10,000 tons of electronics. And 1.6 million tons of recyclables like cardboard and plastics. Keep up the great work. Bring, Bring it on! on. Answer that? Uh, nah, I, I never with a kid in the car. It's okay. I'm not here. <sighs> I'm there. And welcome back to the Dome on Cumberland Valley High School for the Mid-Pen Boys Championship. State College at 20 and 2, the champions of the Commonwealth Conference. On the other side, Trinity, the champions of the Capital Division or Capital Conference uh, in the Mid-Pen. Both 20 and 2 coming to this game tonight. Again, we mentioned Trinity averages 72.9 points a game. Uh, on the other side, State College 60.7 points a game. One of the numbers we'll look at tonight, too, Trinity gets 13.6 turnovers, 10.8 turnovers. Uh, it kind of averages out on the ratio there a little bit. Trinity scores a few more points and take a few more turnovers with it. But uh, Jeff Thompson's got a story very quickly here. They have Rudy on the front of their uniforms, does uh, State College. Jeff, what's the story on that? Well, that's, that's in honor of Rudy Burris, a longtime teacher and coach. He's, I'm sure he's watching this game right now. And after, after State College wins, they all come over and say hi to him on the closed circuit TV. It's quite a story, actually. Well, we're getting ready to get this underway. Uh, you look at Trinity, 6'10", 6'5", 6'7", 6'5". 6'1", is their smallest guy in the floor. That's Cooper Manley. And very talented, Coach. Very talented team. On the other side, you've got a state college team that can shoot the basketball, and it's controlled here by Trinity. Schlager with the basketball. Schlager, he's the guy that uh, starts the attack. 
see a lot of motion here from Trinity right out of the gate against the man-to-man. -man. Slager dishes it off to Ben Nostin, who puts it away for two. Ben Nostin at 6'10". Great pass inside there by Slager. And that's one of the things that was asked of Slager is to increase his playmaking, and he's done that. And there you go. The threes are going to yield up that kind of shooting, and into the scene steps one, Mr. Shrewsbury with his opening three. Braden Shrewsbury is one of the better shooters in our state. That was out about 23 feet that time, and he never even doubted himself. Braden Shrewsbury, his dad, Michael Shrewsbury, the head coach of Penn State, who's playing some pretty good basketball right now. There's Cisse. Cisse and Ben Nostin. There's Cisse, nice move. We saw Cisse a couple weeks ago, and he looked a lot more aggressive. Cisse with the nice catch and finish over his left shoulder. You know, the 1-3-1 zone tonight, if you're Larry Koslak, you may have to bring it out further against this team. They shoot so far out, and they shoot so confidently with the three. Right. That was a nice trap down there on the baseline. They reversed it. They're ready to shoot it right away. Good rebound inside. Kevin McKenna. And then again, it's Shrewsbury. And Shrewsbury shows you out of the gate why he is a Division I player. Six points in the game, all six so far for State College. Shrewsbury gets 17 points a game. And um, he's the guy that makes him go. Shrewsbury, a six foot two guard. Shoots a beautiful ball, coach. He really does. Slager here, a sophomore who plays far beyond his sophomore years. Here's a guy who can shoot the 3-2. Wyan misses this one. Rebounded by McKenna. Stolen back by Bed Nostin. And Schlager will reset. There's Schlager. That's partially blocked. And not a good shot by Schlager. Pretty good piece of defense by Ryan Perks. It was good defense. Trinity again is in that big 1-3-1. What Trinity will do a lot of times, if you can step into the seam against them, they'll start to come out and play you like straight out of the man. But they try to take away the seam on you. They're doing a good job with their hands, keeping them extended. Because of the size, they extend. And they got Shrewsbury open in the corner for a moment. Inside it goes. McKenna up. McKenna in. Nice job of dishing inside and getting the ball where they needed to get it. Get it for the easy score. McKenna averages five points a game. He's a senior. He's six seven. Give credit to Lake Black on that dish. Little pick and roll out top. Going inside to Ben Nostin. Over the back goes uh, McKenna. That was nice high, low action McKenna by Trinity. Got, McKenna got caught in behind. We talked about it in the girls game. You have to come straight over the top there. You can't get any help side on that. Right. Take a look right here. There's the invert. Trey Wyan. Way to sit down in there. Inside it goes to Ben Nostin. It's going to be the second foul on McKenna. That's big. They don't have a lot of size past McKenna. Dylan Davis is the next guy at 6'4", and then Luke Tobik at 6'3". So right away, you're going to get someone in the game here. It's going to be Fermanick at 6'4", comes in to replace McKenna, and he's going to sit down. Kent McKenna would work out a lot better if he would play him from the baseline side because it's helps coming to the middle. And inbounds, good defense there. Taken by Lake Black. Ahead it goes. Shrewsbury's open. Look out. They're going to have two people around him every time he touches it. You can't go over as far as you might help tonight away from him. So he's going to occupy a good part of that 1-3-1 one, one zone. There's Black. Black handling the basketball pretty well. From the corner it goes. Not going to go off the hands of Isaac Dye, who has 61 threes on the year. Good ball reversal by Trinity. He's actually got more threes than Shrewsbury does, who has 58. There's Schlager. Schlager up, blocked again by Shrewsbury. Schlager caught. Schlager dishes it back out to Cisse. Cisse pulls up. Cisse with a shot. Not going to go. Ben Nostin tips it. Take it away. Here comes Shrewsbury. This could be trouble. Shrewsbury against Wyan. Shrewsbury up and in. Boy, Shrewsbury is some kind of player. He's really, really improved from last season. Eight points in the game by Shrewsbury. Coming out of the gate here, his team leads it 10 to 4 in the opening going. Ben Nostin, long three, off the iron, not going to go. And a foul will be called against Cooper Manley. That'll be his first. And I'm not sure Larry Koslak wants that three being taken by Ben Nostin that quickly. No, he, he kind of rushed it. Here's their super freshman, Reese Brown, into the game. He averages 9.4 off the bench. Reese is very, very flexible. He's, he can do a lot of things. He can get to the basket, and he can shoot. 
Brown in for Manley. So far for Trinity, nothing out of three from three-point line. Two out of four for State College. State College shoots it at 36%. There's another one. Oh, my goodness. What a clinic we're seeing here so far. Three threes in the first quarter. 11 points for Braden Shrewsbury. He had 32 in the semifinals the other night. He's on his way to that kind of game again at the moment. And, Coach, that's a great, great matchup with Shrewsbury and Slager. Boy, if you're Penn State, you're looking at your chops for next season. If you're Dad, you're looking at him even more. And there's Schlager finally answering. Schlager said, hey, I can do that too. Schlager has shown us some big games in the last one out. He had 31 that we saw a few weeks ago. Looks like Trinity's trapping up and down. 7-2 run right now. Missed shot. So far, Dye has not been able to find the three. He's missed all his threes. Shrewsbury's made all his. Good piece of defense here by Fermanick. On Schlager. Schlager with a three. Schlager answers the bell. Owen oh, Schlager with a three. He's got five. Trinity fights back to 13 to 10. Schlager's work, working up a sweat. Starting to get his feet under him. Shrewsbury again. Look out. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing it raining here. It's raining threes. 14 points in the first quarter here for Shrewsbury. We still have two and a half to play. And coach's ball looks so nice in the air. Potation. Schlager going to the basket. Schlager going up hard. Can't get it, but not the tips around. Taken, taken back by State College. Stolen back here by Trey Wyan. Wyan ahead to Schlager. Schlager lets it go. Schlager misses. Fed Nostin fights. Fed Nostin up. Fed Nostin foul. Fermanick will be called for the foul. Finn Fermanick with his first. Fed Nostin to the line. Fermanick has got to do a better job of boxing out wide balls in the air. There's Wyan with a good steal. Then good Wyan steal. gets it ahead here to Schlager. Schlager takes the three. Not going to go. Fed Nostin is up. Gets away and then fouled underneath. And Ben Nostin goes to the free throw line. Ben Nostin, a Division I recruit. <laughs> 16 11 here in the early going. Ben Nostin up and good. Ben Nostin on the season. A 53% free throw shooter. Yeah. He's doing a very, very good job. So 16 to 12 as Trinity goes to a little different look now. They're going to go back to a three. man. Looks like a 3-2. 3-2. They're trying to stop Shrewsbury, and he is unstoppable right now. Coach. His fifth three here of the first quarter. He's got 17 points. The question is, is he going to hit the rim at all tonight? Hasn't hit it once so he's far. He's getting good looks, and he's knocking it down. Reese Brown rattles it out. Pulled down by Fermanac. Here's Shrewsbury again. You've got to meet him at 23 feet. He's going to let it go on you. That's right, and they're running stuff to get him open. Trinity right now chased with that 3-2. Trying to meet him in anywhere he's out there. And all of a sudden, the other guy starts to light it up a little bit. That's Die. Die with his 62nd three of the year. And State College, that's what they do. Those kids have the green light that when the ball gets to their hands, if nobody's guarding them, it's a three ball. 22-12. Trinity's not playing that bad, but they're getting rained on. Reese Brown lets it go. That's not the shot. Cisse gets it. Cisse's going to go up. Cisse, very aggressive, up, just off the iron. Yanked down again by Jack Morris. Shrewsbury with 17 points in the first quarter. <laughs> Six threes for this team. You wonder how they had 185 for the season? Look out. There's another one. It answers again. The three from the other side. And yet another town hurt from. This is Ryan Perks. Ryan Perks is the second leading scorer on this ball club. Ryan Perks with 34 threes on the season. Yeah. Offensive foul on Cisse. Cisse will pick up the offensive foul on the screen. And I'll tell you what, if you're Larry Kozlak, you're wondering what hit you here in the first quarter. She's going to get Emil Way in there for Brown, who took two shots. 15.2 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 25 to 12, and it doesn't feel like 25 to 12. Larry Kozlak shaking his head saying, oh my goodness, I haven't seen anything like this all year. Yeah, Braden Shrewsbury is putting on a show. 
He's got the basketball. Ten seconds to go. Looks like Trinity's in a man-to-man -man now. One four flat. He's going to come off here looking to pull up. And there it is. Just for a moment, he had it. He's very loose it. Schlegel lets it go. Not going to go. At end of the first quarter. 25-12. State College leads it. This is the boys' mid pen championship game on Fox 43.2. Advanced Hoops is offering a spring play and train program for kids fourth grade and older. A special AAU prep league for kids that can't play AAU but still want to play and get out to at least one tourney is available as well. Go to www.advancedhoops.com to see all the classes. Shooting with Charlie, post with Duke. You name it, Advanced Hoops has it. To find out more, go to www.advancedhoops.com. High School Sports Live is a proud partner of Raw Sports. Go to Raw Sports Films to access the YouTube channel. Get the latest on Big Star's latest superstar content. Do you want to be a part of the game? Become a mid-pen basketball official. Basketball officiating is a great way to remain connected to basketball and earn extra money in the process. Officiate around your schedule. Basketball games are available year-round, and officials are needed to support the game. You'll be trained on all the aspects of officiating, including rules knowledge and court mechanics by experienced officials. Go to cpboa.org or use the QR code on your screen to become an official today. How about that first quarter, Jeff Thompson? Well, Braden Shrewsbury has taken six shots. He has 17 points. And the problem is, if you concentrate on him, Die and company will hit their threes, too. They had seven threes in the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. And look at the number eight right here. And there it is. I'm telling you what, this is a clinic. You're watching a team right here that is playing on another level. Isaac Dyer with his second three. He's got six in the game. 28 to 12. We got some stats in the first quarter, Coach. In the first quarter, State College was two for two from two points. Trinity was two for eight. State College, seven for 10 from three. Trinity's two for seven. Free throw, State College 0 for 0, Trinity 2 for 2, rebound in 6, State College 5, Trinity, turnovers, 3, State College, Trinity 2, points, 25 for State College and 12 for the Rocks. They shoot 36% for the 3 all year long, they're way over that so far in this game. These guys are playing a great game. They're moving the ball, and they're trusting one another. And they look for the three. I mean, they're ready to shoot it every time. Lake Black doesn't go. He I'll says, take. I'll take it inside. Lake Black goes in for a rare deuce for this team. Lake Black gives them 5.5 points a game. And I'll tell you what, they play some mean man-to-man -man as well. They are up in face, especially on Schlager, who's had a tough time of it so far. Shrewsbury's on Schlager. That's a good matchup. Ben with a turnaround. Nothing gone. Rebound yanked down by Isaac Dye. I'm pretty sure that's not the shot that Coach Kostelak wanted. They're not able to get in and impose their will right now as the ball is bounced, I think, off the leg of Shrewsbury. Let's wait and see. I don't think the officials saw it that way. Back into the game now comes McKenna. Carrying two fouls and sitting down will be a guy who did a pretty good job in there, Finn Fermanek. And then thrown away a rare mistake here by State College so far. They've got to settle down. The guys get in their spots. 30 to 12. We did not expect this tonight. I'm, I'm shocked, and so is the crowd. Yep, they are. And the Trinity fans have not had a lot to cheer about so far. There's Trey Wine, who can shoot the three pretty well himself, but do it a little quicker than he wanted to. Yeah, he kind of rushed it. The man-to-man -man defense so far has been outstanding. Ben Nostic gets up almost offensive goal. Tennis doesn't have it, gets a rebound. Rare miss there. That's a big time move by Braden Shrewsbury. Ben Nostin. Emil Way in there now. Schlager. Up strong, gets a foul. I think he's going to get it against McKenna. If it is, it's his third, his third foul. Schlager is ready to take control of this game. I think he's ready to take control of his offense. He's getting ready to incite his defensive uh, ball club to get some deflections, to get some steals, to hit the board, to only give him one shot. So Slager is at the free throw line and on the season, a 77% free throw shooter. First shot up and good. And he can get it going in a hurry too. He had 26 in the first half of the last game we did two weeks ago. Left hand sophomore. Got six points tonight. Some new numbers in the game now. Uh, Ryan Perks back in. Brian Perk is the, the third leading scorer on this ball club. Slager missed the second shot. Cissé with the rebound, though. 
Schlager directs the traffic here for Trinity. Nice pass, nice Fred cut. Ben travel. Walk. Yep, Ben Boston walk, shuffle his feet. So another turnover here against the Shamrocks. Coach, in that situation, you may want to let your post guy sit down first. Show your hands, show your numbers before he gets the ball. Great point. We always like to have the post guy get in there. You want to be a little late on offense with the post guy, never early. Even though Ben Nostin handles it pretty well. 17 to 3 run right now for this State College team. Another three, this time a miss. You're almost, you're almost surprised when they miss the three. That's how good they are. Yes, they, it looks good in the air. Emil Way off to Schlager. Cisse. Here comes Slager again, and Slager doing a lot of juting, and he'll get a foul called against uh, Jamar Uri, who's now in the game. Uri in there. Slager's a, lot of herky, uh, Slager's a lot of herky-jerky. We talked about like a boxer, in and out, constantly jabbing at you. No shots of the ball be brought on underneath by Slager. Trinity in a box set, and their baseline out of bounds. You know, they're not getting good touches inside. They're really not. Everything is challenged. Here's Wine again. Needs to hit a three here somewhere on the line. He hasn't been able to do it so far. Quick outbreak there. Lake Black has it. He pulls Very good back. decision. Good he, decision by Black. Black does not look like your prototype point guard, does he? No, he doesn't. I think one of the things about him, Coach, he understands who he's, who he's playing with and who should get what shot. Well, and this guy is a guy who want to find for three often. Look at this. Another one. This one missing. This one at the top of the key. I think only a second miss of the night from three. Eight out of 13 tonight for the three-point line of State College. That's outstanding. Here goes Schlager. And Schlager is going to try to force the play here a little bit. Again, drawing the foul from Yuri. And this time he'll go to the line for two more. So Schlager is going to make you play him. That's what his book is. His... MO is, I'm going to make you come and have to play me. If you can't do it, you're in trouble. And one of the good things about what he's doing, State College has 16 fouls. A little surprised here. I thought it was on the shot. They're saying no, it was before the sh shot. Cissé will check out. And back in for him will be Reese Brown. A little smaller here with Cissé out of there. You cannot play with the ball with this State College team. They are very good defensively. State College is doing a real good job out of their man-to-man, -man, and they seem to be controlling the big guys pretty good. Slager being guarded, and again, tough pass there by Cooper Manley off Slager's hand, so it's going a little too quick. He took his eyes off the coach, and he's got to catch it with two hands, not one. Five turnovers on Trinity so far in this game. Things have slowed down a little here in the second quarter after that bombastic first quarter here by the Little Lions. State College is showing a lot of patience. Shrewsbury kisses it off. Another three look, another score. This team thinks three mentality, and this time it's Yuri burying a three. It's always good to bring shooters off the bench. Yuri stepped into that thing and said, thank you, Shrewsbury, I'm knocking it down. Yuri only averages two points a game. He just got three. Take it away there again, a mistake by Emil Way. Isaac Dye with the steal. And no three here. And it's gonna be a walk call. And by the way, yes, he did make another three, but it didn't count. Shrewsbury, that is. Trinity's gotta be a little more active offensively. They're down 20 with 321 left to go. Trinity. Oh. And the man-to-man -man defense has really forced Trinity out of their game. It's suffocating. They're really playing it very well. Larry Kostelak really frustrated right now on the side. He's not seen his team play like this. Coach Shawley is doing a good job uh, running his kids in and out, and they all know what to do. They really do. Ryan Perks back in there again. They're all coming off screens looking for threes like this. This one's going to miss. Tap back out by Ben Nostin, controlled by State College. Off it goes. See him setting up. The feet are always going in at that three-point line. They practice this. This is not by accident, ladies and gentlemen. Got to be what they call shot ready. Trinity with one point so far this quarter. Amazing. Team in average of 72 in a game. Having a tough time tonight of it. So far. Nice play. 
Good job underneath. Then the reverse left. Just good basketball as Ryan Perks has his fifth point of the night. Wonderful pass by Shrewsbury. Ryan Perks gets 12 points a game. 35 to 13 here, controlled by the Lions. And again, you're going to have Ben Nostin going in, but the kind of shots Ben Nostin's getting are tough shots right now as the foul is called against Isaac Dye, his first. It'll be the team seventh now against the Little Lions. Ben Nostin's got to show his presence right now is when they need him. Shot is up and no good by Ben Nostin. Only a 53% free throw shooter. We talked about that. Trinity shoots 69% for the free throw line. Fairly acceptable. Ben Nostin, one of three so far tonight. And it's going to be a step in here by Manley. And so that one will not count. Trinity's a little frustrated right now, Coach. They're making mental errors. And they've got to settle down and one bucket at a time to get back in this ball game. Yeah, they're really out of sorts here so far. 35 to 13, a 22 point lead here by State College. Another three look, another three down. And this one from Ryan Perks, his second three of the evening. He's got seven points here in the first half. Very impressed with how these guys shoot that basketball. When you've got three guys standing on the perimeter and sometimes four that can make the three, you're in trouble. And you're going to get a foul called here. Looked like a lot of ball, but the foul called on Ryan Perks. It'll be his first. Should be the team ninth. Two shot shooting foul here as Reese Brown will go to the line. The freshman's the night. He's not been to the line yet, obviously. Averages 9.4 points a game off the bench. He's and had a very, very solid freshman year. Trinity has one point this quarter. 13 to 1 is the score this quarter so far. 38 to 25 is the 38 to 20, 13 is the lead. Second shot also missed. Nothing going Trinity's way at all right now. Here's Shrewsbury with the basketball. Two minutes left in the first half. We'll have our Jack Team Bobble halftime report coming up at halftime. Trinity's in their uncustomary man to man. Good look down low. Lake Black pulls it back out. This guy makes good decisions. He's a very good player. Trinity, very smart. Trinity three out of eight, by the way, from the line. And they're going to get a walk call. That's exactly right. He just shuffled his feet. Yeah. Those are the kind of walk calls that make the old and gray as a coach when you just kind of have a mindless one. Especially after you go over the, all those jump to the pass drills. Exactly right. <laughs> Six turnover now for State College here in the first half. The Nostin's posting hard. He gets it. And ben, he's fouled. But Nostin is getting pounded inside. He got the shot, but he was pounded on the play. Very smart action by Trinity. Get the ball to the corner, then throw it into your big guy on the block. Ben Nostin, as you said, 53% free throw shooter tonight so far. Ben Nostin, only one of three. And make that one of four now as Trinity just having a nightmare second quarter. Checking back in is Fermanick. And out. Who would have ever thought, Coach, by the first half down 25? No, nope, wouldn't have thought that at all. You could have gotten a lot of money in this one for me. So, so second shot also missed by Bednas. It has been a horror film offensively for the Shamrocks in the first half. 121 to go here in half. 35-13, State College in command. Well, I'll tell you what, Lake Black runs the show. There's Shrewsbury again. Misses. Back out it comes. Pull up and in. They just do it everywhere you look. And a nice little touch by Ryan Perks, who steps inside for a rare two. Perks now with 10 points here in the first half himself. Trinity's got to do a better job of fighting through those screens. Well, Slager's I've not seen done. some of those guys run up to the screen and stop. You can't do that. you got to keep playing. Eight points for Schlager here in the first half. 40 to 16, 42 seconds to go. Shrewsbury with the basketball. Shrewsbury sees a scene. Going to pull it back out. Every time they get it, they are just spotting up for threes. You can see them. That's their whole mentality. Coach Charlie wants him to pull it out. Another three. I'll tell you what, this guy is unbelievable. Yes, he is. Isaac Day. He said, three, how's that, Coach? Three threes in the first half. He's got nine. On the season, he's got 64, ladies and gentlemen. Schlager going up. Schlager with the right hand. Can't get it. Ben Nostin gets it. Puts ben, it back home. Ben Nostin with a nice play. Looks like this may be the last shot of the half. Who do you think will take it? Uh, Shrewsbury. 
Shrewsbury lets it go. Why not? No. Off the glass. Halftime. 43 to 18. State College leads it here at the half, and they have done it. Raining down threes. We'll take a break. We've got our Jack G and Babel halftime report coming up. Our AT&T first half highlights and our Capital Blue Cross halftime stats straight ahead on High School Sports Live to be on Fox 43.2. Possession again, 10 points, trying to get it underneath that. Here comes Rose, he's going to challenge mid Right to the right big up. guy. How about that? Right in his face, he goes straight up. Charlie Porter with good head and shoulders fake. Good head and shoulders fake again. Portney's got a three open. He usually hits these, and there it is again. Charlie Portney with another three. Seven points in the game now for DeFrank. And I'll tell you what, you're seeing some new zeal here this half. What a hard move, though. Again, it's Marcus Sweeney restoring water, has eight points. Passes over the top of the zone. And man, Good a shot. big, big hit there off the hands of Lucas Wayne for Carlisle, a big three. They shut down that middle, Cumberland Valley. Here's Jaden Smith, Jaden Smith, oh, way to go man, in there. Man, it's a charge! It's charged. Oh my goodness, player control foul, and Smith. The basket. Tell you what, this guy plays hard. And I'm talking about this guy being J.D. Hunter, his first deuce of the night. But says, hey, not only can I do rebounds and stick it back, I can also make threes. Nice shot. Ooh. Oh, what a screen by Steve. Ooh. Very outside. Good job there by Cooper. And look, rattles in and out. There's Wells again. Wells up. Wells in with the left hand and a big bucket here. Thurston Wells. And that's what you want from your big guy inside. That's what, what they want. They can just give and go. Kick it a corner. To the corner. Dawkins again. He's hot. Dawkins downtown one more time. Where were you last night? Do you know how embarrassing that was for me? <gasps> no, 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 don't deflect. Pfft. Well, that wasn't passive aggressive. Listen, I just need to know that I can trust you're gonna be there when I need you. Hello? <gasps> Our money just hung up on me. Not cool. Track your spending with our personal finance tool. Just another way to have better conversations with your money from f and Trust. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24-7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. the sun. We live in a place we're proud to call home. For us, it's knowing that those we help are neighbors, friends, family. As the leader in providing the best orthopedic care for our community, we come together to do our part. Welcome back to Cumberland Valley for our Jack G. and Valvo halftime report. 43 to 18 here at the half in a game we thought would be very, very close by a team that's averaging 60 points a game against a team that's averaging 72 and a half a game. And it didn't go like that. 
This has been an unbelievable show tonight in three-point shooting. I've never seen anything like this in high school before. In the first quarter, uh, Braden Shrewsbury just went off. I mean, he made, all, he made almost everything. Then he got joined by Ryan Perks, Isaac Dye. They start hitting threes. And the good thing I'm, I'm, I'm noticing is they're shot ready. They're getting the ball right on point, and these guys are just stepping into it, knocking them down with confidence. And they've got so many out there along the perimeter, Jeff Thompson, that it's hard to pick one. Second quarter, for example, Shrewsbury scored 17 in the first quarter. He didn't score in the second quarter, but the other guys went off there. When you got Die out there and you got Perks, they're all ready to spot up when he's being guarded. Well, they put Emil Way in, and he did a pretty nice job. You know, I credit the start at the beginning. Uh, Braden Shrewsbury has his college coach in the stands watching him, who happens to also be his father. And he put on a show for his father, didn't he? Did he ever? And Dad say, I'm glad I recruited the kid. I'm also yeah. glad he's in my family and he's my son. Let's take a look at our AT&T first half highlights. And I'll tell you what to say. It rained down threes here at the Dome tonight. Might be the understatement of this basketball season. And let's take a look at him right now. Here's Braden Shrewsbury inside. This is for a rare two. He had, he had several assists in the first half. He did. Now here's Die. Top of the key. Die has kind of an interesting looking shot. Kind of unfolds it. There's a guy. Oh, Schlager. He'll be playing hard throughout the game. There's Die again. You see him, he kind of ducks his head behind the shot there a little bit. It's different. He has very little movement on it, though. What do they do? They go to the middle. They pass the court. You've got guys spotting up in four different places out there, ready to knock it down all over the place. And, and Coach, what I'm impressed with is the pass for the shot. Yep. Always pinpoint, always on target. There you have it again from the far corner. And that was a different guy. That was Yuri. He doesn't shoot that off. And there's Shrewsbury again. I mean, you're putting your poison if you're pretty. Fed Nossett fighting inside, getting some hard points in there. Here's Schlager, taking off Fed Nossett. That was the opening pitch in the game. Cissé with a nice pitch. This was early. Cissé up and in. But they didn't get a lot of that in the first half to Trinity. In the second quarter, Cissé wasn't in much. Take a look at the halftime stats. Ladies and gentlemen, 11 of 19 from the three-point line. That's ridiculous. Oh they shoot 36% for the season, which is pretty good. Look at Trinity. Three out of 10. So you take a look at that times three, and you got a 24-point difference right there alone. Not to mention the other stats there so far. Trinity's being out-rebounded. You wouldn't have thought that tonight either. Not at all. The turnovers are close, 6-4. Uh, State College and seven for Trinity. State yeah. College hasn't gotten close enough to take a free throw yet, but Trinity's only three of ten for the free throw line. That's a number you're going to want to see improve in the second half. Look, three out of 15 from twos, five of six for State College. So when they do go in to take a two, they're just about perfect. Well, they were pressing. They shot 24% overall from the field and 30% from the foul line. That hasn't happened all year. One of the best starts we've seen all season long. In fact, the best start and the best three shooting we've seen in a long time. 11 threes in the first half, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get ready to start the second half. Who knows what's going to come on? Trinity's going to come out. You know, Larry Koslak Jr.'s team will never quit. But on the other side, this state college team and Coach Pat Shally, they may have some more things in store for Trinity here in the second half. Let's see what unfolds. It is the Mid-Pen Boys Championship, and it's all right here on Fox 43.2. You may recycle your electronics, appliances, and mercury thermostats at the Dolphin County Recycling Center. In addition to eight local drop-off sites for recyclable materials. Recycling matters in Dolphin County. Since 2001, Dolphin County has recycled over 10,000 tons of electronics. And 1.6 million tons of recyclables like cardboard and plastics. Keep up the great work. Bring it on! Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has
Welcome back to the Dome here at Cumberland Valley High School. This is High School Sports Live's presentation of the mid Penn Boys Championship right here on Fox 43.2. And the first half was all state college. And Trinity will have the basketball to start the second half. Let's see what Larry Kostelak manages to do with his team here as they were really rained down on and didn't play very well in the first half the way we've seen him play throughout the course of this season. State College comes out in their man-to-man. -man. The first play, Trinity goes to the block. They continue to work Ben Austin, and again with three fouls with McKenna, Ben Austin could have his way inside, and that's exactly what they're doing. Ben Austin with the opening do. Nice post move. Ben Austin with nine points here in the basketball game. Shrewsbury let all scores in the first half with 17. And there's Cisse, and that's what you want to see if you're Larry Kostelak starting the second half. Cisse with his second bucket in the game. Those are the kind of plays you're going to need to get back in this thing. If you wondered if they have any boxing, oh yeah. 39 years coaching over 750 wins, and there's McKenna missing. Ben Austin in front of him, and now you're going to get a foul called, I think, on a meal way. McKenna, has, he's doing a very, very good job on the board. He's fighting both big men and uh, got the rebound and got fouled. Yeah, he's a tough kid. Look at McKenna. He looks like kind of a football player kind of build. He's up in the area where they play a little football now and then, don't they? Yes, he does. they do. There he is again, Mr. Three. Look at that. Did not score in the second quarter. Give credit to Emil Way. He did a good job on Shrewsbury in the second quarter, but he's itching, you can tell. But, you know, he seems comfortable. If he's not scoring, he seems comfortable dishing it off, setting people up. That's the mark of a great player. They're playing with very nice pace in the half court. Shrewsbury pulls up. Oh, my goodness. The way he started the game, he's got 20. Shrewsbury may be the best player in the mid Penn Conference. That's Every division. 6-3 <laughs> of the night, Coach. He's playing well. Playing very well. Right now, if you're Trinity, just one possession at a time. You want to make every possession count for points. As you like, uh, that was a really kind of not a real good pass by Wyatt. He knows that he would have kind of apologized a bit nicely and said, I didn't get my knees bent or anything. Looks like he had the lob hand open as opposed to a bounce pass. Larry Kostak marks the sidelines. He's got his famous towel over his shoulder now. Here's Schlager. Schlager tried to do a lot of it himself the first half, and he needs to involve the other players right here. What a great matchup. Tough shot there by Schlager, but Nasi can't get it. Cisse will pick it off. Oh, oh. another bad entry there. It's Emil Way trying to pass it inside to Ben Nasi and not close. Shrewsbury. Playing Penn State next year for his dad. Boy, what an addition he'll be with that shooting. Picks it back out. He's got another three look in the corner. Yes, it is. It's like a layup for Isaac Dye, who has his fourth three of the night. He's got 12 in the game. Coach, I don't know where Isaac Dye is going to be playing next year, but I tell you what, he's going to be helping this team with those three balls. He's going to be playing right back here at State College again because he's only a junior. Oh, my gosh. There's Emil Way missing. Yanked down by Ryan Perks. Ryan Perks, one of those seniors who shoots the three for this team. Dye's wide open in the corner again, and Perks was going to throw it to him. He kept, got it knocked away. For you young kids out there, please throw those passes with two hands. A lot of times these guys throw those one-hand passes, man. You can't bring it back. And please don't, because Coach Smallwood's getting old and gray when you don't. <laughs> and I lost mine a long time ago on that one. Again. Oh, my goodness. 23 points. 7-3 of the night. Boy, is he shooting it. And that one came off a screen, and he showed you to shoot it off the... Tight screen, he can shoot it when he's open. He can shoot a step into the seam. Hands ready, foot down. They think three. I mean, that's, when you think about that, the mentality is we're shooting three. You watch them along the perimeter here getting the three tonight. Nice pass. Good job getting it inside. They're finding Ben Nostin now regularly. Ben Nostin with 11 points in the game. Trinity's down 28. Now well, take a look. McKenna might be the only non-three shooter on the perimeter right now. Oh, nice flex cut. Underneath and a great back screen and inside goes number 25 again. Isaac died his first two of the night. He actually got close to the basket. He's got 14 points to die. State College, their offense is like a machine. Now that three was taken falling away. Back Cisse. Up, back up by Cisse, back up again by Schlager, and Schlager finally gets the tap in. 
Hard work to get points right now. 10 points by Slager in the game. Lake Black runs the offense. Now they're starting to drive the basket. They sure they know what to do in there, too, as it's Brian Perks taking his turn. And Brian, Brian Perks now with 12 points in the contest. And, Coach, you know, it doesn't look, look good when you start giving up straight-line drives. And those aren't the shots you want taken right now by Emil Way. A little oh, behind nice the pass. back. How's that for maybe the play of the night right there? But I don't know. Slager with the behind the back. He gets the assist to Ben Austin. Ben Austin scoring regularly now. He's got 30. But he is the beneficiary of some pretty good passes. I like this guy. Lake Black. Now watch. Uh, uh, what, the, what a different way to Shrewsbury. That was bad body language by both guys. Again, if you want the back door, you show your ball side hand. Then you show your paint hand. And that's when you usually get it. Boy, I like Brian Shally's team here. Let's get down to Jeff Thompson right now. Jeff? Well, that three-point shot by Braden Shrewsbury put them up 30 points. And as far as I can tell, it's the mercy rule right now. They've just mercy ruled Trinity. Yeah, they have. 2.45 to go in this county. Clock is moving. 56-28. Good point, Jeff. Didn't, th did not think we'd see this in a championship game. I didn't see this coming. I really like how they put Shrewsbury at the point. Everybody on the team screens for him. He knows when he's open. He knows when he's not. There he is again. This one misses. Rebound by Ben Nostin. Taken back by Isaac Dye. Isaac Dye kiss it off. Isaac Dye runs back out. And I think he had a rare three-second call. We haven't seen that all year. Yeah. Jeff, this is like watching a clinic right now. Inside-outside basketball by this team. When they're not hitting you from three, they take it to the rack. Well... I'm more impressed, actually, with their defense. They are putting on a clinic and man-to-man -man helping defense. They're doing an excellent job defensively. They really are. Wyan. Wyan kicks it back out. He shouldn't have, probably. Shrewsbury going to go hard. He and Schlager. Shrewsbury. Schlager Ooh. blocks it. What a block by Schlager, but stuck back anyway by Isaac Dye, who was right there with him. And that's what you tell your guys to do. <laughs> on the other end, there's Slager coming back down on the other side and getting a couple points. One of the things that Slager has improved on this year, he said, Coach, I play above the rim now, and he just showed you why. Slager with a dozen points in the game, 58 to 30. This team only averages 60 points a game. They got 58 right now. We're not quite to the end of the third quarter. 117 to go. These, these kids from State College know their role. They run such good screens. There's Shrewsbury again. This one off the front of the iron. Oh, and a bang. Look out. Lake Black down the floor. It'll be away, hustles down. Cisse with a shot, not good. Taken back by Shrewsbury. He'll calm it down here, under a minute to play. State College is up 28 points. 48 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Shrewsbury comes off, just needs a sliver. He's in complete control. I'll tell you, Isaac Dye misses. Wyan with the rebound. 36 seconds to go. Trinity maybe with the last shot here as Schlager has it. Shrewsbury on him. Schlager's going to fight his way through, and Schlager gets it blocked away. Nice job on defense again by Fermanic. Stuck back up. Ben Nostin again, and finally puts it down. Ben Nostin having a pretty good night tonight on the glass. Good job on the offensive glass by Ben Nostin. Eight points here in the third quarter for Ben Nostin. I would think this would be the last shot for State College. Seven seconds to go. Die misses the three, taken down by Jamil Way. Schlager pulls up, lets it go. Just misses, and that's the end of the third quarter. 58 to 32, we head to the fourth. It's the boys' mid pen championship game on Fox 43.2. Advanced Hoops is offering a spring play and train program for kids fourth grade and older. A special AAU prep league for kids that can't play AAU but still want to play and get out to at least one tourney is available as well. Go to www.advancedhoops.com to see all the classes. Shooting with Charlie, post with Duke. You name it, Advanced Hoops has it. To find out more, go to www.advancedhoops.com. High School Sports Live is a proud partner of Raw Sports. Go to Raw Sports Films to access the YouTube channel. Get the latest on Big Star's latest superstar content. Do you want to be a part of the game? Become a mid-pen basketball official. 
Basketball officiating is a great way to remain connected to basketball and earn extra money in the process. Officiate around your schedule. Basketball games are available year-round, and officials are needed to support the game. You'll be trained on all the aspects of officiating, including rules knowledge and court mechanics by experienced officials. Go to cpboa.org or use the QR code on your screen to become an official today. Well, the Shrewsbury Schlager matchup has been a good one tonight. Take a look right here. There is Schlager with maybe the block of the night against Shrewsbury on the other end. You can see Shrewsbury can get up, and Schlager says, so can I. Nice play. 6'5 against 6'2, a sophomore against senior. Look at this, a back cut, back door. The back screen by Isaac Dye, and then the put away by Perks to start the quarter. Another great piece of work, and Perks now with 14, Dye with 16, Shrewsbury with 23. State College is in total control. And they've hit their season average here to start the third quarter, and they've done it all different kinds of ways. Inside and outside, there's a back door. Nice move. Missed the layup, though, does Reese Brown. It was a nice play and good pass. You got to make those go. Trinity, the number two ranked team going into districts. Look out. Another three look, another three down, and that is Ryan Perks. Ryan Perks now with 17 points on the night. Ryan Perks usually averages 12 a game. Reese Brown finally hits a three, and Reese Brown, who's not had much luck there tonight, hits his first bucket of the game. 63 to 35, clock is rolling. Here comes Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury, just look at the control of his body. He's got 25 points, ladies and gentlemen. Heck of a play. And coach, I really didn't think it was a good shot, but it's a shot he can make. But he looked under control <laughs> like it was yeah. not even hard. Yeah. And that's when you talk about Division I players, right there is what you're talking about. Looking at a player that makes it look easy like that. Fed Nostic. Three, not good. Here comes Perks now. Yeah, people talk about Division One players. You're watching a Division One player tonight going to Penn State next year. Jeez, he's played a heck of a game. Die from the corner, misses one. Permanent, another three, opposite corner. Yuri, not gonna go. Look at Die, oh, he's Die is everywhere. This kid is underrated. Yes, he is. I mean, he, you look at him and he's got a different looking kind of shot, but he is underrated. Offensive foul called on Shrewsbury. I think when he separated his left arm there, he might have gotten him. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of the young kids do that. Jeff Thompson, you've seen a lot of basketball over the years. Have you seen a game like this before with a team that is this skilled offensively on this night? Well, the three-point shot changed the game. And it was evidenced in the first quarter. The game was really over after that initial salvo. I'll tell you the amazing thing this year, Harrisburg was what last place in the Commonwealth, won at State College this year. You said you're going to go back and give Coach a hug tonight, right? That's right, a big one. Harrisburg got like two wins in the season, and one of them was over this team. Which is inexplicable unless someone was out in that game. Just running their offense. Shrewsbury again. Misses this one. And Coach Fermanick. Fermanick inside a good foul by Cooper Manley. Fermanick is actually outworking the big from Benton Austin on the board. And when he's not, McKenna is. Yes, on both boards. He's getting them second shots, and he's also... Fermanick at the line the first time that he's not scored in the game. He has a 67% free throw shooter. They have a nice complimentary team here. Yeah. The bigs compliment him inside. They. Shrewsbury can drive with the best of them, so can Lake Black. And then they've got three point shooters with Shrewsbury and Perks and Die all standing out there waiting to drill you. And then when Yuri's in there, he can nail it as well. That's and the first free throw of the game for State College. And the good part is, Coach, they know which shots to take. And their passing is just exquisite today. Yeah, it really is. I mean, if this team plays like this throughout the District 6 playoffs, you may see them showing up in Hershey a little bit later on in March. In the championship game, they are really good. Backdoor cut, stolen by State College. Got a pretty good team in District 3, too, ranked number one with Reddy. Yes. Oh, missed a high low there. You know, the one thing with Shrewsbury, he does not take bad shots. He's always is, moving. 
He's, he's playing with a whole lot of confidence. The kids believe in him, and he believes in himself. Jamar Yuri's going to get fouled here as the clock continues to roll. New uniform on the floor here. Jack Morris now in, and McKenna back in. You wondered at what point in time Coach Shelley may pull Shrewsbury, Lake Black, and company. State College continues to move the ball. Shrewsbury, well, he just looks to create space, puts that defensive man in motion, creates space all the time. That side screen and roll, and he continue to run it. He's got Cisse, who's got a little bit longer wingspan out there playing him right now. He said, give me a little space, and then pop it out as Ben Nostin. Ben Nostin hedging out on him. Look at that, though. He doesn't force the issue. He's in complete control. Kicks a corner, Lake Black. Lake Black going through the lane, trying to find Shrewsbury. Not a real good pass. Schlager gets a steal. Schlager coming to the basket. Schlager bumped. Schlager with a shot. Somehow makes it go, and that's what he does. They'll score it. Schlager with two. Fourteen points in the game for Schlager going to the line to try to complete the three-point play. He's one out of two there tonight. As Shrewsbury comes out of the game, 25 points this evening, 17 of them in the first quarter, and then dishing it out to his teammates the rest of the way. Here's Schlager up. Schlager good. 15 points in the game for Owen Schlager. And hats off to Braden uh, Shrewsbury. He's really, really improved from last year. Heard some people saying the other week, is he really a Division I player? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, just show this tape to somebody. Up and down for Schlager, who's now got 17 points tonight. Still the clock rolling, 2.49 to go. Here's McKenna setting the high screen. Yuri trying to make the move, pulls it back out. These guys just make good decisions. They, they sure are do. Really coach. well coached. Very well coached. Brian Shally doing a heck of a job. Hacks, hats off to Coach Oh, good block there by Ben Nostin. Back at the other end, Schlager. Reese Brown, the freshman for the three, not going to go. And this guy has played himself a whale of a game tonight. Isaac died. He was terrific today. Got a timeout call on the floor by Coach Shally. 30-second timeout. We'll take one as well. 2.16 to go in this one. This is High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43.2. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Let's go back down to Jeff Thompson on the floor. Jeff, uh, 2.16 to go in this one. Your thoughts right now? Well, it, this was a big surprise for everyone in the, in the uh, Cumberland Valley Gymnasium, but I saw in State College dismantle Cumberland Valley about a week ago. I think they're ready for the playoffs. Well, I think they are, too. They're in District 6, of course. 15 of 30 from the three-point strike tonight for the State College team, and they've slowed down in the second half, 50%. That's 14% over what they normally shoot during the course of the year, 36.3. Looks like both teams emptied both benches. They really did. Now they're going to give their inside guys a little bit of work. One looking for a shot, not going to get it. Foul called. And the foul will be against Trinity. It'll be Landon Kunstelman into the game. So Kunstelman in there, Amir Evans, number 10, Kunstelman number 5. We've got 45 in there, uh, C.J. Nadzum, number 20, Nate Kelnett whose dad was a pretty good three-point shooter at Millersville. One of the best in the nation, in fact. State College just taking their time, moving the ball. Darius Pearson there for Trinity on the other side. Got Jameer Yuri in. And there's Lake Black getting it blocked down by Nadzum. And getting a curtain call right now is a guy that worked hard tonight, Isaac Dye, who loses the game unofficially with 16 points. In for him will be Jack Morris. And coach, hats off to Kevin McKenna. 
who did a great job in the first three quarters battling those two big kids There's from Harry, Trinity. Harry's Pierce with the rebound. Three look for Trinity, not going to go. Pulled down again by McKenna, who is just a beast on the boards. He goes after it, Coach. He really played well today. And Six. he's a big screen. 36 seconds to go in this one. 66 40. Both these teams heading off in the district. Both highly ranked. And I'll tell you what, Trinity just having one of those nights, but it was more State College having one of those nights and was off the charts. They came in with a lot of confidence. They executed their game plan and they made shots. And they got Trinity out of character. Yes. They came out of that 1 3 1 very, very quickly. And they were in character plus tonight. Now nine seconds to go and they're going to run it out. State College is going to win this one, 66 to 40. And what a display of basketball they put on here tonight. Our Capital Blue Cross post-game report coming up next. We'll have the awarding of the medals all here at Cumberland Valley, 66-40. As what a show State College put on tonight. And if you're Coach Sholly, you are just sitting back saying, "Oh my goodness." Yes. We'll take a take a break. And we'll come right back on Fox 43.2. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. ceremony for the silver medalist uh, Cisse getting the first award there from Coach Larry Koslak. Now Mike Bednas. Let's turn it over here to Bob Schoenberg. Cooper Manley getting his. Brian Balaban. Six foot one junior. CJ Nadsen, number 45. Wasn't there night tonight? There'll be another day. Trinity will regroup. Well, they made a lot of hay with their 1 3 1, didn't they? And they didn't tonight. Landy Kunstelman, there you see Owen Schlager getting the award. He had 19 tonight in a losing cause. He had 20. Reese Brown. Freshman, he's got a lot of basketball in front of him. He had one three tonight. Marcus Yeager. Marcus Yeager, six foot freshman. Uh, Amir Evans getting his. Emil Way. Trey Wyan. Cooper getting his here at the end. Cooper Manley. Great staff there, Coach Larry Koslak, 39th year. And they get the runner up trophy here this year for the Mid Pen Championship. Hunting 
for his 19th district championship when he heads out on the road here in the 3A. And he has a great chance to get it close. Larry will have his kids regroup, and they'll be ready to play. Well, they'll have their attention anyway. Shabir Yuri getting his medal, and Evan Malas. Three, four, three. Shrewsbury, 25 points tonight. Number four, Aiden Angus. These are the guys who are so important during the season. When they take ownership of practice, they make you better. Absolutely. Nate Price, 16 foot two junior. Lake Black, outstanding point guard here for this club. He is so smart. Very good job. Ryan Burks who knocked down 17 tonight. Might be the quietest 17 you've ever seen. Yeah. Luke Torbick, a junior, six foot three. He'll be back next year. Henry Adams, a junior, six foot. Hey, another Shrewsbury coming up. A freshman, oh a freshman. Oh boy. How about Dylan Davis? He's a senior, his last uh, game here in the mid pen. Isaac Dye with 16 tonight. And man, did he play hard on both ends. And he made shots, bro. Oh, by uh, Salazar and made big plays. Kept the ball alive a lot of times, too. A scrap. Jack Morris, a senior, 6'2. And you like this next guy. Kevin McKenna. I love him, coach. 6 foot 5, blue collar kind of guy. Puts on the hard hat, goes to work. Excellent post defender. They're getting ready to get the trophy right now. And of course, Coach Brian Sholley, 51 and 56 in five years, a couple of district championships. There might be another one lurking out there on the horizon coming up here. But what a masterful job he's done with this team. And we'll take a break. We'll come right back for our Capital Blue Cross post game report. The Mid Penn Championship won tonight by State College, 66 to 40. The Jet Giambabbo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Giambabbo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jet Giambabbo Mazda. The Giambabbo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre-owned inventory. With a reputation for quality service after the sale, Giambabbo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jet Giambabbo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at giambabbo.com. Welcome back to our Capital Blue Cross post-game report here at the Dome in Cumberland Valley. 66-40 to 40 tonight. Not the game that we were expecting here. State College, your champion in the mid-pen. Their second championship now. They have won 2016-17 and now winning here in 22-23. And uh, Jeff Thompson, clinic. It was a clinic, and, and I think Braden Shrewsbury, as Kirk alluded to earlier, I think he showed he's the best player in the mid-pen conference. What a performance in that first quarter. He just snatched the game and, you know, made shots early. His guys start making shots, and it was over from there. How do you defend a team that is 15 out of 30 from the three-point strike? How do you do that? You just hope they miss the bus. That's exactly right. <laughs> or hope they miss the shot. He must have done it a couple times this season, but I'll tell you, if you watch the team that was on the floor here tonight, when you can gear up for a big game under the bright lights for a championship and play like this, I mean, you've got a lot of good things coming your way. Let's take a look at our Capital Region Insurance Agency play of the game right now. There were a few tonight. Uh, good assortment to pick out from this evening. And here you have it. And the play of the game started the second half with an alley-oop pass. And it was Ryan Perks going in. Just to emphasize, we don't just shoot threes. We come off back screens and lay it into it. Who was the guy that set the back screen? Isaac Dye for Ryan Perks. He was there all night long in a whole lot of different roles here this evening. Now... I'll tell you what, we thought in the opening quarter it was really easy to see who the player of the game was, and maybe it was, but I'll tell you what, when you throw in Ryan Dye, or Isaac Dye, and Ryan Perks tonight into that mix, you throw in a Lake Black, you throw in this whole team the way they play defense tonight, it was a little tougher than we thought, but not that tough. <laughs> well, they, the guy who is the Hoffman Ford player of the game is Braden Shrewsbury. He rained down 17 in the first quarter, and Jet started this team out to what was going to be a 66-40 win tonight. Let's take a look at his game. He dissected the 1-3-1 zone is what he did. We talked about that 1-3-1, a lot of gaps in that, and guess what? This team was the team who was made 
for the one three one zone. Absolutely, they found him, and he's shooting from deep like that, barely hitting the rim. That's impressive. He had five threes in the first quarter. He didn't score in the second quarter. He had two more threes in the third and scored a couple in the fourth for 25 points in the game tonight. He is our Hoffman Ford player of the game. And, and what a show. Look at this. I'll tell you what, uh, a lot of fun watching these two teams here tonight. Now, we are going to be coming to you again live on March 2nd with the 6A championship game. And who knows who's going to be in that. We've got a lot of teams. Cumberland Valley here had a good season in District 3. They could be there. Reading, one of the odds-on favorites to be in there. And we've got Central out there, York High. They're playing for a championship down in the York, York Area League tonight. But uh, it's been a great season here so far to date. We're looking forward to seeing you on March 2nd. Thanks to Jim Gallagher tonight for a great job here on Stats All Even Long. Thanks to Jeff Thompson prowling the sidelines all season long and doing a great job here tonight. And my partner here, Kirk Smallwood, former Harrisburg High Show, wearing the colors here tonight, by the way. I know it's Harrisburg High with the silver and black, but uh, it's just been a great time working with all these guys. Uh, Josh Edwards here on site with us. Chad Edwards back with the crew all season long with Vicka. And all the good people here at Cumberland Valley have just helped us tonight. We are so blessed. Uh, Mike Craig, the AD here, doing a wonderful job for us while we're here and be just a gracious host. Ladies and gentlemen, we look forward to seeing you again on March 2nd with a 6A championship game live from the Giant Center. But tonight, it was all 